Hey, what is up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive One Jack from the Obi-Wan Kenobi television series. So this droid was on screen for what, 20 seconds tops? The scene in the street where he was just kind of walking around, kind of muttering to himself. Then there was the rooftop shootout scene that was shot so dark that you couldn't see anything. And then the scene in the alley where Haja shoots him. That's it. Uh, he didn't really do much, but it's a droid. He's a bounty hunter, and I ordered him at the same time as the Purge Trooper to get free shipping. Yeah, why not? And of course, it comes in the Galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top. Through the window, you can see one jack comes with two blaster pistols. I don't know what these are called, but they look cool. Here we have Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi and one jack. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around. Then you got Star Wars The Black Series again down there. There's the side with the artwork. It's an okay picture. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be in the background. Maybe the cloudy sky on Dayu. I have no idea, but it's okay. I do love the blue for Kenobi. We got a small window up top. Bottom is the barcode, some logos, and some mouse print. And on the back, you have the same picture as the side. You got just a synopsis of the show in five different languages. One Jack is number eight in this Kenobi line. And you got some warnings down there that no one looks at. All right, I'm going to get One Jack open and let's take a look at him. Okay, so here is One Jack out of the box. And yes, this is Forlom. I mean, it's the, it's the same figure. But it's fine. I mean, One Jack was a LOM series protocol droid, same series as for LOM, so it's fine. This is what he would look like, and this is what he looked like in the show. But let's get a close look. So the detail on the head is great. You know, for LOM has a little extra paint in here, you know, but the detail in the eyes is fantastic. And of course, if the light hits it just right, you know, they glow, which is a great effect. Uh, back looks like that. Yeah, it's a cool looking head sculpt, I have to admit. And for the body, same as Forlom, just minus the weathering, minus the patina. But I do love the kind of shiny look, you know, the clean look. It's great. And they did paint all the wires in here. This is fabulous right here. So this bandolier, it looks great, but it's a separate piece and it does move. Okay, like every time you pick the figure up, this thing wants to slide around. I would have been fine if they would have glued it down. You know, but it's okay. It's it's fine. But it does look good. The red's very vibrant. There's nothing on the back, just this sort of little texture there. It's cool. Um, yeah, very cool bandolier. The arms look good. I love the subtle gold in there. Yeah, that's great. Same thing on this arm. Now, they did add this little bit. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's some sort of tracker or something. His watch, I have no idea. But But it looks great. Nice, fine detail. The hands look great. All these little things all over the arms just look really, really nice. Legs are the same. You know, Nice detail throughout. Now these holsters, I do love the holsters. They look cool. I think they're supposed to be like quick draw holsters, but you cannot pull the pistol out from the front. You know, It's just going to slide in from the top. Uh, but it does look very, very cool. And legs, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I love all the detail on the feet. And all this back here, yeah, the joints look good. It is a very cool looking droid. And I'm pretty happy with this so far. And if you want to compare them side by side, yeah, it's the same figure. Of course, you get the bandolier on one jack and some new holsters and this little added bit on his wrist. The heads are practically the same. Of course, Forlom has this little bit of silver there, which looks great. Painted wires here, not there. But on Forlom, you have all this wonderful grime and patina and wear, which is so well done. I've always loved this figure. And the fact that they did the back, too, is just wonderful. You know, if if Forlom came out today, they would probably have just done the front. So, so yeah, that is, that's always nice. But I think they're each pretty accurate to their respective shows slash movies. And to sort of highlight the glowing effect of the eyes, I got these little fiber optic lights here. Yeah, that looks really good. I mean, it works. It works very well. But too bad you have to have a light to achieve that. Yeah, that is really, really neat. And it's pretty accurate to what we saw in the show as far as the, you know, the color and the intensity of the green. Yeah, very, very cool effect. But, you know, you're not going to have him on display with a light behind his head all the time. It'd be kind of hard to do, you know, to truly achieve this. Yeah, I've always thought that was a really nice effect for this figure. And of course, the detail on the eyes is just tremendous. I think he looks great from head to toe. 
And as far as articulation, I'll just hit on it real quick, you know, just in case you're not familiar with forelom. So you do have some side to side of the head. You've got a little bit of down, some pretty good up, and you do have a touch of side to side tilt. So the arms only get up to about right there and they can rotate around. The little shoulder pad will just move with it. There's an upper bicep swivel. Now, as far as elbows, okay, there is a joint there, but it springs right back. It, it doesn't stay. On forelom, it stays, but on one jack, it doesn't stay at 90, which is unfortunate, but there is a joint there. This little piston will just move in that little track. Yeah, it's a pretty cool design, but on mine, it just doesn't want to stay. There is a swivel at the wrist and a nice up and down hinge on the right hand, and on the left hand, you have a side-to-side -side hinge. Oh, and the elbow on my left is still the same. Okay, it'll flex, but it springs right back. That's unfortunate. Comment below if yours stays or if it does this. That's just kind of weird. As far as midsection, you've got a little bit of twist, a touch of crunch, some pretty good back, and some decent side-to-side -side tilt. As far as legs, they can get up that far. They can go out just that much. They go back to there. You've got single knees that don't get very far. Feet go down to there. They go up that much, and there is some swivel at the ankle. And here, take a look at forelom. If you flex forelom's arm you know, to 90, it stays. But on one jack, it does not stay. I don't know. I may have to play with it, but yeah, that's unfortunate because I do like the fact that Forlom's arm will stay at 90. But being on the same body as Forlom, the articulation is adequate for what it is. I mean, it's a droid. You can't expect too much. And as far as accessories, there's the two blaster pistols that come with one jack. And these are pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty basic sculpt, you know, pretty much all one color. Maybe a slight silver wash throughout, ever so slightly, but... I think they look great, and I think they're pretty accurate to what we saw in the show. And as far as one jack holding these, let's drive the right hand first. Okay, that goes in pretty well. It's not super tight, but once it's in his hand, it's not just going to fall out. And I think he looks good with one blaster. And the fact that one jack shares the forelong body, the left hand was a gripping hand, but the fact that he dual wields, I had to give him a trigger finger. You know, otherwise this one wouldn't work properly. So I made a nice little cut there between the first two fingers and bent that finger out. So now he's going to hold the blaster in the left hand a little better. You know, it's going to look a little more natural. And yeah, that's, <laughs> that's much better than just a gripping hand. And I think he looks pretty good dual wielding. Yeah, pretty close to what we saw on the rooftop there. Yeah, and they're both pretty stable. They're not just going to fall out. And I do like the look of that. But the fact that there's only so much range in these arms, you know, you're not going to get too much in the way of posing. I mean, this is kind of it. You know, you can, of course, have one down and one up or, you know, the left one out and the right one kind of out like this, you know, which is not a bad look. I mean, it looks good. But yeah, not too bad. Let's see how these holsters work. So the left side will just drop in just like that. Yeah, it, it's great. Um, uh, but like I mentioned, they do not come out from the front. Okay, it's not like a quick draw holster. They do slide in from the top and they slide in very pretty easily and they do not come out so yeah that works well let's just try the same blaster on the right side since it's the same blaster and that drops in well the right one's a lot more snug okay great yeah very secure awesome all right so the holsters work very well and i have to say this trigger finger is much better yeah much more natural all right I'm going to go stick one jack on the shelf and let's see what he looks like there. And here we are. And I think he looks great on the shelf. The sheen of one jack is so nice. You know, the fact that he's a little shiny, I think he looks really good on the shelf. That red bandolier really stands out. You know, the fact that he's got two blasters is just really cool. And you can see he's short. Okay. He's only about five, six. <laughs> he's kind of short. One jack is not tall. So I think he scales pretty well there. And the fact that one Jack and Forlom are exactly the same height, you could see how he would scale with some other figures there. But I do have to say, one Jack looks great on the shelf. I am pretty happy I picked this guy up. So bottom line, I think one Jack is pretty cool. I mean, it's the same figure as Forlom, yes. And I hear people say, oh, it's just a lazy repaint. Well, of, of course it's going to be a repaint. It's the same series droid. This is what he looks like. So yeah, it, it makes sense to use the Forlom body. It totally makes sense. And I think in this case, it looks great. I mean, this is pretty much what he looked like. I mean, from what we can see, you know, in the show, the show was shot so dark. But I am loving the look of this guy. The sheen on the armor is just great. Red Bandolier is awesome. 
You know, the dual wielding of pistols. I mean, you gotta love that. That thing on his wrist really looks nice. I don't know what it is, but man, the detail is just killer on that. The gold on the pistons on the arms look great. And of course the eyes are just killer. I just love that, that green shining through. Pretty sweet figure, I think. But I wanna hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of One Jack from Obi-Wan Kenobi. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.